Hi guys, my name is Firefly and welcome back to a brand new episode of Timberborn in a series where we're going to be making modular bases. But in order to do that, we needed to do explosives and we speed ran that in the last episode. We got explosives. We went, we beelined it straight to explosives and this is what we came up with. So in this episode, we have now got nearly 2000 explosives. We can finally, finally, finally start making our base. So what do I mean by modular basing? Like, what is that about? So what my initial thought is, and we'll maybe progress this as we go along, but we're gonna have this one district which can pretty much reach most of the area. If it's all on one level, it can reach pretty much near the edge of everywhere. And then we're gonna have little boxes or i wouldn't say little we're gonna have boxes of um districts that will have its own functionality so let's do a little example over here we're gonna put levies like so this is just a small example and then we're gonna have levies four spacing apart to make another box now these two are gonna have different functionalities like farming wood there's going to be a lot of water going in between and we may use metal platforms to um, make different levels as well so the first one i want to make is the wood production well not wood production just the forest area so so to say and we're all going to do it on this this level here now this is the last level so we've got to be careful Hmm. How can we do this actually? Because I'm thinking I will need some, maybe some water going underneath at some point for farming and for these trees, depending on how big each box is. Now we've got a fair bit of trees. We've got a fair bit of trees. So we are going to actually delete all of this because I want to make this one like here. And we need to, we also need to block off these because there's too many going out. I'm gonna to need to only have maybe one for now. I'm gonna leave these two open, but first we're gonna block off this one. So, whew, this is scary stuff because if we don't have enough materials, it's gonna take its time. Maybe we should just start building certain things first. So first we can get rid of this like so is there anything in here no cool we can get rid of that too. and that so maybe i'll make it around here and i'm wondering how big i should make it i'm thinking about 10 wide now the reason why i think 10 wide is because i believe water can irrigate 10 squares so what is here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It actually irrigates in a lot more than 10, but that might be because of that. But we're going to try 10 for now. So what would 10 squares look like? Or a, a 10 by 10? Would that be too small? So first of all, we've got to block this area because we want to do it on the bottom here. So let's do that. Okay, so the drought has just started and we have just got all our dynamite there. Now it's good that the drought has started actually because it will be nice to have this place dry when we're building. So let's destroy all of that. Look at that craziness. Now I have been thinking the water is going to surround each uh, module, did I say? So it will be able to do about we'll be able to do a massive box basically but do we need it that's the question so what we're going to do first is now it's going to be three blocks high because i want to make the water a lot higher now the water should have a decent amount of pressure because we're going to be filling up a lot of this land we're going to be filling up a lot of the land so if i do hmm something like this how big is that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 
17, 18, 19, 20. I lost count there. I lost my counting. So that's a block of 20. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we could do 20 by 20, but then the inside won't be 20 by 20. This is just the outside. So we'd have to do 20 like this. And then one, two, pretty much. This should be 20 here, not including the corners. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that's long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's around here. <clears throat> that is a big district. <laughs> that is a big district. And then it goes like that, and then like that. Hmm. We could move it up by two. That means I would need to delete all of that. But I'm not opposed to that. I'm, I think I'm okay with moving it up by two. But do we need that much forest area? That's what I'm thinking. But now I'm going to make it 10 by 10. And we'll see how we go with that. Okay, so this is... I actually made it 15 by 15. And this is kind of what it's going to look like. Now, bear with me here. So everything is going to look like this. Every part. There might be bigger ones. There might be smaller ones. They're all going to be separated by four spaces of water. So... If we say one, two, three, four, and then there, like so, right? So then there'll be another box here. And then there's going to be water in the middle. And what we're going to do to get people across, we're going to have something like that. We're going to do that. And that's pretty much how this whole map is going to turn out. So it's going to be loads of water in here. And we can actually put power wheels and stuff like that if we want to at certain places. But there's going to be pretty much channels everywhere and loads of these types of districts. Now, this district is going to be specifically for wood. So everything should eventually be the same level and they should be all traveling on the top here. So the I, I think the pathing should be fine. Now, for them to actually get down, they could just use a little stairway, like so. And then we could design a forest area in here. So how would we design that? Let's get Forester. Look, that filled up the whole place. That is absolutely excellent. Did I actually have that like this? Oh my god, there you go. Put that there so you can go along here and along here. In fact, do they even need pathing in there? Let's see the lumberjacks. No, they don't. And then the rest could just be filled up with literally maple everywhere. <laughs> Pretty much like that. And that would be a nice little farming area. I like it. And eventually, if we wanted to, we could put like um, one of these here, if we wanted to, maybe a few of them and make an upper level. I do like the fact that the iron teeth have a bigger metal platform. We also have a smaller one that we could use. So there's a lot of possibilities. We've just got to get to that point. And that's going to take a lot of wood. So, <laughs> let's get the farming going. And I'll see you guys in a sec. And just like that, we have our first module. And you know what? I've had, a, I've had an idea. I'm not just going to do one tree, one farming. I'm going to make a small box for each tree, each food. And then we're going to have entertainment. We're going to have houses. It's going to be pretty cool. And everything's going to be under sea level, which is going to be pretty interesting. So the next one we will have to do 
is food because we need to sort out our food production. I'm thinking to put it here. So maybe we could start planning that one out. Now it is going to be bigger than a 15 by 15 because this is quite small. I'm thinking to do the food one 20 by 20. Now, how much food are we going to be putting in the ground? Three. So we could put one, two, three along here. That'll make a line of um, food there. That would be pretty cool. I do need to think about storage though. Storage for all this. I did put some extra wood here just to help a little bit, but that's not the official place it's going to be. Maybe we can put some metal worm platforms here. But that would take a while because I need to get a proper metal production and I can't actually see it. If I delete this, that might be a tad too high. Now, how big? Okay. We could kind of have one and have a spiral, like have it like that. And have a spiral going up. That could be interesting, but we'll, we'll we'll figure that out a bit later because we need to get some production of metal first. That's 500 metal blocks. That's a lot. We've still got this little bit here. We've got a big bat over here that we use, so we will get to that. But let's let's take a look at building out this um, this farm area here now. No, 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 no. We're gonna have to block a lot of stuff so we're gonna have to pretty much delete all of this so let's get on with that let's get some uh, dynamites going now i do only have 1800 dynamites left <laughs> i don't know if that's going to be enough but it should be we kind of need to clear out some of the area as well of trees Let's get that done. All right, so now we've got rid of some of the trees. Let's take a look at how big this is actually going to be. So good thing is I don't need to actually um, put levees all the way down because we can just use the earth blocks. It is going to start from here, I think. I think I'll make it start from there. And what we're going to do, I'm going to go down this way. It might actually move on down here. Let's, let's see, let's see. So how many we've got? We've got seven here so far. We're gonna make it 22. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22. We could make it that big. I'm not opposed to that. I'm actually not opposed to that. All right, and that will go like that. Um, do you need, I'm going to leave this here for now because I'm using this to irrigate this area. But we can blow up some of the stuff down here. Um, when they get a chance. Like that. Then we can just start turning down this mountain. This mountain is going to be a, a lot of explosives. There's going to be a lot of exploding to be done. Um, let's get that there. It's not too bad. Okay, so now we've got 21 here or 22 here. Let's go horizontal or sideways, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. So it'd be about here. I'm gonna put that there as a marker. Be about there. Okay, so we've got a lot of deleting to do. A lot of deleting to do. And then we'll do the same pretty much along here. And it doesn't hit this, which is great, because this is what we're going to use for our water area. So that will go along there like that. That's actually a decent place to pull it. Okay, so unfortunately, 
This is all I have time for today. So I thought, let's end this episode in a bang. So let's detonate all of this. Look at this. Oh, doesn't that just give you a little bit of satisfaction when you block a lot of stuff? Maybe I'm just a, a, a pyromaniac or whatever person likes blowing up stuff. Maybe I'm that kind of person, but I love it. So in the next episode, we will be finishing off this farming area. And hopefully once we get this, because this is going to be a carrot farm, right? So once we get the carrot farm done, we can actually get rid of all this area. And that means in the next episode, we can get the carrot farm done and we can get all the trees planted. So that will be four different types of um, trees, maybe blueberries as well. It depends on how many fit in there. I think it looks like it might only be able to fit another three. Maybe I'll do one over here at some point. But definitely there's going to be one around here. It's going to be the same size and then one around here and then one around here. So we're going to leave blueberries for a bit because I want to get all the trees up and running. Not that I need it, but what do you need in this game? You might as well just do it if you can, right? So uh, yeah, I will see you guys on the next episode. I hope you have an amazing day and peace.